Hey guys, this is Nathan from Facts and Firearms. We're a brand new industry partner with AR15.com and it's an absolute thrill to be really a part of the community now. Most of you guys know me as Rogue Nathan on the forums, but I wanted to take a second to talk about Facts and Firearms and the various products that we're releasing for the AR15 and other modern sporting rifles. Principally, you guys know us for our ability to create barrels. So you see our latest 14 and a half inch pencil barrel, which just comes in a hair over one pound. QPQ nitrided inside and out, standard M4 rail extension, being able to use low profile gas blocks to make the lightest weight rifle you possibly can in the industry. As part of that, we're expanding the actual product line to include muzzle devices as well as the new Streamlock handguards. But I'll talk about the muzzle devices first. Now many of you guys have seen what we call our loud mouth muzzle devices. It was the basic one that we created for the A-Rack when we originally launched it. And the idea was we didn't like crush workers. Matter of fact, we hate them. I'm trying to put something on, and I'm sure all of you are laughing to yourselves because everybody's friggin' over-torqued one once, gone, son of a gun, Trigging, tried to replace it. So the idea behind it is that you have an opposing lock nut that you're able to take a flash hider on and off at any time without having to use tools. And it's really valuable for a lot of you guys that have suppressors so that you're able to take a suppressor, have a direct thread on, and then likewise, you basically have a thread protector. All right, so as we were rudely interrupted by some random person walking along, we're talking about the muzzlock, specifically the ability and how it functions and being able to time itself to a barrel. So the idea is that you have an opposing lock nut that you're able to use to time it to a barrel. So if we put it on here on one of our pencil barrels, this is one of the prototype A2s, which you'll be able to see here shortly. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look at the gas hole. You can see that across the top. Take your muzzle device, and we're going to take the torque nut, put it down, see it lock, cinch it, and voila, your time. Now I know it's not perfect, it takes a second or two to get used to, but it gives you an idea of how the system is going to work and to allow you to take muzzle devices on and off without a problem. Next up, and you guys saw the announcement here just a couple of days ago, is we're really proud to announce the release of our streamlined handguards. So the idea is that Faxon is expanding into anything that is on the top of a rifle. We do upper receivers now, we're working on bulk carrier groups and continuing to expand and produce everything we can in-house 100% in the USA. Anyways, the streamlined handguard is a uninterrupted Picatinny rail with manually engraved T-marks across the top and seven facets of M-Lock, which as you can see, everything has been undercut such that all standard M-Lock accessories work, especially Kinetic Development Group and other companies we consulted with to make sure that all of their QD systems are in perfect working order. As part of this system, as we've gotten rid of that really annoying basic AR-15 barrel nut, we now have a standard steel nut, as you can see it's been Swiss cheese for weight reduction, that uses a standard flat wrench to be able to torque on and torque off. So it's really easy to do in the field, really easy to change it out, etc. The actual handguard is a compression fit over the barrel nut, and then you have indexing wings across the top that ensure that it does not twist on your upper receiver at all when you're doing some uh, aggressive maneuvering and very tactical things.